Hi there, this is Krishan from Byte Scout, and in this video, we will be going to learn about one of the T SQL execution plan operator called Index SIG. In SQL Server, we have two types of operators for SIG, and the first kind we will discuss is the clustered index SIG. And the clustered index SIG means the SQL Server retrieving rows based on a SIG predicate, so it is a sargable predicate. From a clustered index. The word sargable is a contraction of search argument able. The optimizer's ability to benefit from an index depends on the selectivity of the search condition, which in turn depends on the selectivity of the columns referred in the where clause, on clause, or having clause, all of which are referred to the statistics on the index. And in contrast, we also have a non clustered index SIG, and that is the same as clustered index SIG, where we are retrieving rows based on the SIG predicate. But in this case, we are doing that against a non clustered index. The search predicate used on the columns in the WHERE clause determines whether an index operation on the column can be performed or not. So let's perform the demo for this operator. All right, so for this demo, again, let's use the patient master table. Now, in the previous video, we have already created the clustered index using this script on the patient master table. Now, before executing this script, let me enable the execution plan by clicking on this button. Now, when I execute this query, I get one row for this patient ID. And when I go to the execution plan tab, we can see that we have an index seek operator over here. Now here patient ID has the index and that is our clustered index. Now when I hover over this index seek operator, you will see the seek predicate and in this seek predicate, we can see the condition patient ID equals a specific value. Now let's go ahead and perform the non clustered index demo. I am retrieving the patient record based on the last name where last name equal to John. Now, when I execute this query, I will get the two record from the table. But when I see the execution plan, you can see that here I have a clustered index scan operator. So to get read of this index scan, I have to create this non clustered index on last name column. So let me create a non clustered index. And now when I execute this same query again and in the execution plan here you can see the index seek and when I hover over this index seek operator you can see our newly created non clustered index in the object section. So for the previous query it was a clustered index and it had an index seek and now we have a non clustered index and it has an index seek. So index seek can happen at either level at the cluster index level and at the non cluster index level. So in this query where I said last name equal to John, then the SQL Server engine start the evolution process as B tree traversal for that non cluster index and retrieve the record for us. Now stay tuned with us as in the next video we will be going to learn about our next operator key lookup.